Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, hey boo, I missed you guys. Um, it is Thursday, I'm on my way to the store right now. I just got off of work, I'm on my way to the store. It's hot, it is hot. I saw a TikTok that said, ever since Glorilla said, it's 95 degrees, or however that song goes, they said it's been like that, and it has. It's been, it's been, it's been hot. It's been treacherous. Not as hot as Texas, because I talked to somebody in Texas today, and they told me that it was 100 degrees there, and at the current stage, it was only 79 degrees here. Oh, you guys are crooked, sorry. Hold on, I gotta fix y'all, because I didn't know y'all was turning all willy-nilly. <laughs> One momento. Okay, my bad. Y'all still might be a little crooked, but it's okay. Um, I'll fix you guys in just a second. But anyway, it is hot. It's been oops, it's been hot here, but oh, y'all are still crooked. At this point, we're just gonna have to lean with a rock with it, cause I can't. I'm. Mm -mm, I can't keep trying to lean up and fix it and stuff like that. But um, it's Thursday. My friend invited me to do yoga, but I'm not going to be able to because I have some errands and stuff I got to run around. So we're going to do that next week, which I'm excited because I haven't taken a yoga class. It's been, whoa child, it's been some years. I think the last time I took a yoga class was with my friend Shay. And I was in hair school. And I haven't been in hair school in like, oh my gosh, I couldn't even tell you. I can't, I, <laughs> I seriously can't even tell you because I don't remember, but it's been a long time. But that's probably the last time I've been a um, yoga class, like in a facility. Like I do yoga at home and stuff like that, but I'm actually excited because I thought about it. I'm like, oh, that'll be a fun little cute thing. So it won't be in this vlog, but it will be in next week's vlog on doing the yoga. Um, but I'm actually running to Walmart because I need to pick up a couple of things for Aaron's dinner. I'm making him some taco salad. Um, I'm gonna make me, I have some turkey, ground turkey that I made the other day. So I'm gonna have, which has like peppers and onions. What else is in there? I think it's just peppers and onions I put in there. So I'm going to, uh, I could have went, but that would have been sticking out. I'm gonna probably just make that because I rather fish is crazy, it's hot. Um, I'm gonna have that for dinner. And he's gonna have taco salad, so I'm just gonna pick up some taco seasoning and things like that. So, but other than that, work has been going really, really good. I'm working on my first project by myself, so I am excited, nervous, scared, happy, thankful, grateful, overwhelmed, underwhelmed. <laughs> underwhelmed because I'm like, okay, it's not as crazy as I thought it was gonna be in my head. Overwhelmed because it's like my first big, like, big task like I said you we're corporate Christians over here now so their level of expectations is like so high for me um not like I saw my team lead today I was like for me getting seeking validation and the approval and the, and the acceptance and the accolades from my peers or people I work with like my different other cohorts and stuff like that that's not something I'm look doing or what I'm looking for I'm wanting to make sure that they see that I am capable to do my job. I don't want anybody to ever get a twisted biscuit that I am incompetent to do my job or I'm not capable or anything like that. So that's what I strive for, is striving to make sure like y'all see that I, I know what I'm doing, you know what I mean? And then I feel like as long as I do my job and I do it unto the Lord, making sure everything that I do is unto the Lord, whether it's doing my job, working out, being a wife, being a friend, a sister, daughter, vlogging, uh, content creator, whatever the case may be, I'm making sure that I do it unto God because if he's given me the tools, the gifts, the creative mind, the ability, I want to make sure that I do it right. You know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, so that's what I've got. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I do work for, I can't say who I work for, but um, obviously for like safety reasons and just different things in general, but I do work for a company that works in co 
what's the word I want to say? In conjunction and work with Fortune 500 companies, they we work with huge, huge company names, places that you go shop, places you go eat, whatever the case may be. We work with them, and my job, as I said before, is to solve problems. I'm a problem solver, and by the time I get situations, they are on fire, and I fix it. So to be able to have a task, um, it is it's a I'm trying to think of the word. It feels, it feels good to know that they feel that they can trust me on it, but I've also inquired. I've only been there. I started working there February 19th or 16th, whatever day President's Day was on. I started working there then, and I have definitely shown interest in like wanting to grow in the company. Like I'm like, I'm a person that likes to set some roots in. Like Once I feel like, okay, this is where God has me be at, I want to set roots and I want to do it and I want to grow. And so I feel like definitely being able to do that also helps as well like showing that and sharing um but also know that you know sometimes we have to work harder and i haven't i haven't personally seen that so i don't want to just start displaying and saying like we have to work harder as a black woman in corporate america i have not experienced that but i do know that we have to work harder just in general no matter where we're at because of the demographic sometimes but I also feel that because you have God on your side you have God behind you he's going to open doors that no man can shut he's going to open doors that no man can even open you know what I mean he's paving the way he has my name in rooms in a great way that I haven't even been in and so I feel like when I have God on my side for that I know that even though I feel like I have to work harder I already know that he's setting things up for me anyway so I believe that and I received that. Um, so I'm going to go into Walmart to just pick up a couple groceries. I'm not going to take you guys in there only because sometimes it gets loud and I did not bring my camera holder with me. Um, so next time I talk to you guys, I'll probably get back in the car and then we'll pick back up in just a minute. Okay, we are back from the store. I was gonna get um, some Alani power uh, protein drinks. I tried them, but I just didn't. I just thought about it and I was like, why would I want to have like extra protein? I'm trying to lose weight, and I feel like by having extra protein, will I don't know. I just don't feel like I need it. I just don't feel like I need it. So, I ain't getting no protein. I put it back. Um, I got everything I needed for Aaron's food. Only thing extra I got was I got my coca, my coca puppy, some little like beef sticks, and it was like $2.97. So, I just, I didn't do too much. I didn't do too much. I stayed in my range. I want to so stay in my range, but. Um, I stay within reason like I didn't go crazy like I wanted to but it's okay um and then I'm about to go home oh keep yawning and I need to go home and I need to work out and it's only 30 minutes it's leg day and then I also have like a 10 minute like other workout I do for lower body so I do like a booty workout and then a leg workout so I need to do that by the time I get home, it's like, it's 619. So by the time I get home, it'll probably be like 630, which is okay. It's going to take me, I'm just ready to be done. I, I, if I were to wake up, oh my gosh, if I could just speak, that would probably be perfect. If I could wake up earlier, it wouldn't be so bad. I mean, I could, I just choose not to because I'm like, oh, I'm sleeping, I'm tired. <laughs> I need to stop being a lazy daisy and get my butt up. Because I didn't work out yesterday because I was sick. Um, so I'm a day behind. So I need to do like my workout fully. So I need to do like my workout, my Pilates. I need to do my leg day today. Tomorrow's Pilates. Um, what's today? Thursday, Friday. Yeah, so I'll be doing Pilates tomorrow. Saturday, I'll be doing my body cardio. And then Saturday, I'm going to my best friend's house and um, 
we were gonna go to the pool, but it's supposed to be storming. Just kills the whole vibe. So instead, we're doing pizza and chicken and we're going to just watch the movie. So I need to figure out a movie to take over there. So we're going to do that. Um, so that's all I got planned. Like I said, for today, I'm going to do cook some ta his tacos. Um, I kind of do that. I might talk to you, pick it back up or talk to you guys once I start cooking. I'm not really for sure yet. So, we'll see how it goes. But I do want to get back on here and let you guys know I did not go crazy. Now, if I go to Target, mm, Target, I just be like, let me go in here and see what they have. And I honestly haven't been to Target in like a month now I think about it. And I am overdue. This weekend, I need to go to Target. I need to go to Target. For what? Because I haven't been. I haven't been to Target. Like, I was going to Target like every week. And now it's like I haven't been and I don't know why. Like, what's wrong with me? What's up? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do that. It may not be Saturday. It might have to be like Sunday or something like that. <gasps> oh, oh, I'm sorry. It was something else I was gonna talk to y'all about. Friendships. How do y'all, how do you guys maintain your friendships? For me, I try to be diligent and I try to maintain them, but sometimes it's really hard Sometimes I feel like I have friendships that I'm trying to hold on to that is not reciprocated in the other side. And that's hard sometimes because you genuinely are trying to keep a friendship going that you feel like the other person's not. And even when, you, when you're trying to like see if that's real or see like, is it just me? It's always met with like, oh no, everything's cool, but you feel like it's not. So sometimes that's a little difficult to navigate. Um, and then it's like, I have a, my one friend Shay lives in California. So it's hard because it's like, we're on different time zones. And it's sometimes it's hard to try to like, like I wanna be like, I wanna constantly be like that friend there because she's all the way there. And I wanna try to like check in on her. But sometimes it's like, I get so busy and then I think about the time difference. And so it's just, sometimes it's hard trying to keep up friendships and I know that we're adults so it's not like I have to like we gotta talk every single day but at the same time but at the same time you do want to like make sure that they know like you know what I mean like hey I'm still here I got your back or whatever I don't know maybe I think too much into it probably I think I think too much into it <laughs> Cause I feel like it's not, it's not as serious as I'm probably making it be. Cause my one friend, like I said, my one friend Heather, she's, um, and I told her, I was like, I am so sorry. I was like, I'm, I feel like a horrible friend cause I don't communicate that much. And she's like, no, I completely understand. She was like, you know, like you have some friends that understand that. You know what I mean? Like my one, my other best friend, my other best friend Jess, like I may not hear from her for a couple of days. I just don't want anybody to ever feel that I'm neglecting them or that I don't care or that I'm not their friend. So I just think I feel like I feel bad when I don't communicate on the regular. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. And then I think about that with my my like my sister. I'm like I don't communicate with talk to her like that either. She's in Columbus living her best life. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just be overthinking. I think I think a lot about different stuff. But sometimes I be like needing, like sometimes I don't want my phone to ring. I keep it on silent. Like I don't want my phone to ring. It just rang because I was in a car. But like, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you just like, I just don't, I just don't. I don't know. How do y'all navigate? <laughs> How do y'all navigate? But I'm about to be at home, so I'm gonna get off of here and I'm gonna talk to y'all in a minute later. I got done with my workout. What is going on with my bun? What is going on with it? Like, why? I just be showing up any type of way. I really do. And here he go, being loud. Um, I did my workout. Felt good, it was leg day. Um, it was leg day, so I got that done. 
I'm cooking Aaron's food. I actually just cut me up a nectarine to eat with my, well, I'm actually eating it now, but I need to make my whiteout post-it notes. I write on there like um, the days and then every time I complete my workout, I rip one off the wall. It is such a satisfying feeling. If you don't do that or you've never done it, try it try it you literally get you some you literally get you some post-it notes you can do the month you can do the days of the week you can do the numbers um this time i i started my workouts in june well actually they were from may and i didn't start until june but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put like one through 21 because it's a 21 day fix I think I'm going to do count down one, two, three, or I might do 21. Count backwards. And then when you're done, you rip it off the wall. I'm telling you, the satisfaction you feel from doing that, it's like no other. It's like no other. It just feels so good and like validation. It's like you're snatching your, you're snatching your power back. It's like you rip it off. You're just like, give me that. Give me that power back. Yeah, I did it. Like, that's how I feel. Every time I do it, I've never snatched it off. I'm just feeling like rip no i'm snatching it back <laughs> i'm snatching it back every time the devil told me i don't need to work out put a negative thought about myself in my head made me feel like i wasn't good enough snatching it back that's literally how i feel and i guarantee if you do it you go feel the same way you're snatching your power back every time because the thing is is you put yourself in a mental state of i need to do this I'm going to do it, and you just feel that power coming back. Hey Amen. That's for somebody. Snatch your power back. Snatch your power back. Um. So right now I am. Like I said, I'm cooking Aaron's turkey. Uh, not turkey. His burger, and I'm eating this nectarine. Is it nectarine? Yeah, because I keep wanting to call it an apricot. I'm eating this nectarine real quick. Um. It's currently 7:31. It's a little later, but it's okay because I had to go to the store. But it's good. It's all good. Tomorrow's Friday. Hallelujah. It's Friday. I'm so excited. I'm so happy it's Friday. But it's Friday tomorrow, so, you know, I'm going to do my normal cleaning up and stuff. Um, I'm going to take my braids out. These braids, they got to go. I'm taking these suckers out tomorrow night. So that's going to be quite an adventure. It still should. Hopefully, it don't take me a long time to take them out. So, I'm gonna take them out, wash my hair, blow dry my hair, and it's just probably gonna be in like a bun because since I'm working out, it's going. It's no point. There's no point in me pressing my hair out. For what? For what? So I can press it out. Have to put heat on it? No. If it's got any damage to it, I'm not trying to make more damage on my hair. You know what I mean? But that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to do my Bible study tonight. Um, I'm going to try to read with you guys. If I don't, it's because I just read in my bed. So I could, because I was getting sleepy. But I'm going to try to read with y'all tonight um, to do the Bible chat. So I just wanted to touch base and pick call y'all back because I said I was going to. Um, I'm going to finish this up. And then i about to turn on YouTube, actually, and watch TV. If I can't find nothing on Netflix to watch, I'll watch YouTube. I know. But let me get up here. And here he come. He always just be trotting along. He need to get his nails cut. I need to make an appointment for him. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Good morning. It's Friday morning. I'm getting myself ready for lunch. Taking a salad. Um gonna make me some eggs and turkey bacon with a slice of orange every time i've gotten an orange it has been dry every time i actually have a juicy orange <gasps> oh i'm so excited because i have not been able to get an orange that was not dry as the desert I'm so excited about that. Um, I'm so excited that it is Friday. Um, 
I do have, I think I just need to run. Oh, and my battery's gonna die. I just have a couple things to do today. But not too much, but for lunch, before my battery dies, is avocado ranch. I do half a bag of that. Um, and I'm gonna put some tomatoes in it. And then just make my food, so. I think next time I talk to you guys, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna make my food real quick. I'll be back. Y'all. Can we talk about the fact that my dog chewed up one of my camera batteries? He did this a couple of days ago. I didn't know he did. And when I saw that he did, he got in trouble. He lost my battery. I see the little teeth marks on there. Can you see look, the marks on there? These ain't little bee baby teeth. He a grown full dog. I wipe everything off. I'm like, cool. It's not ruined. I put it in my battery charger port. Cause I have, oh my gosh, I feel like it almost caught on fire. I don't know, I'm probably being dramatic cause I just not looked at this for the first time. Nope, I feel like it definitely almost caught on fire. I need another one. You see the inside of that? Corrosion. Look at this. Oh! I was sick. I was sick. Let me get some alcohol. I was so heated this morning. Cause my plan was to grab a camera, a battery. But then I was like, and then here's the thing. I unplugged my whole battery thing. Cause I'm like, well maybe it needs to, um, cause I unplugged it from there. Cause I'm like, I don't know if he was able to if he got it because it was in this little charger thing and he grabbed it, I don't know. So I'm like, let me go ahead and just not, let me unplug the whole thing. I unplugged the whole thing. And then I had no batteries that I could charge. So now I'm just sitting here. I'm trying to clean this out. I don't know what to use. I'm using alcohol because I feel like that will clean it out. I'm just so mad. Like, why would you do that? And he knew better, cause he was running when I came upstairs. And that's how, oh, I feel like it's ruined. It's discolored. I'm scared it's going, it's a lithium battery, I think. No, it's not. I feel like I need to get another one of these. I don't know. I feel like I wiped it off and it looks fine now. But I gotta get this one cleaned out. I don't know. Dang it. I hope I don't need to order another one, but I feel like I'm probably gonna need to because I feel like this is melted and it's corroded and I'm scared that it's, I don't want it to cause any fire. You know what I mean? I don't want it to cause a fire. Why would he mess with this? Anyway, y'all, it's Friday. I, we gonna have a real moment. We have a real moment. So I've been working out for, since the beginning of June. It is June 28th. And I have been monitoring my food. I've been mindful of what I eat. Here and there, I may have a little something, but I've been very mindful of it. And the first time I did Beach Body, like I did Beach Body, and I saw a difference. Like I saw a difference in my body. I saw a difference in definition. Like it made me feel really good, right? This time I do it. There's no definition. Like I'm still got a belly. And this morning I was feeling real discouraged because I'm like, dang. And my first thought was, honestly, I'm wasting my time working out. I need to do another workout. Why am I doing this? And I'm not seeing results. I take pictures like every other week. So I've taken pictures once or twice. I've been, I measured myself. It just feels like, you. it just feels like you're doing all this work and then you're not seeing no results. That was what it was given for me. Now this is stuck in here. Now, 
now this this prom is stuck. Jesus, help me. Help me, Lord. Or is this a sign I'm not supposed to be using it? And I'm trying to use it. So, is it gonna be on stuck? It's not, it's not. Oh my gosh, I hope I didn't break it. I need to order another one. So anyway, so I was feeling real vulnerable about that this morning and kind of frustrated and down on myself. And I'm like, the diet is 80% of the weight loss. And I know that, but at the same time, it's still like, I've been trying. I know I can do, definitely, I could do better. But I felt like, dang, like, call spade, spade. I felt like, okay, Tia, I thought I could just do this little bit and get by and then the workout would carry me. And so we had our health and wellness like screening at my job today. And it was, disheartening i always i was already feeling this way this morning but it was disheartening because like she okay so she when i got on the scale i was one pound heavier from my start weight before i started in june but my waist was two inches smaller than it was when i measured myself and I just I was like, I'm so confused. I'm so frustrated. And then like, when I get like this, I just be wanting to give up. I be wanting to quit. I be wanting to eat what I want. I just be like, I don't know why I'm doing all of this. And I'm trying to stay the course. And then I got forward today and I just feel so unmotivated. Like I want to take my hair down, which I still plan on taking my hair down. But I'm like, I just don't want to do anything. I don't want to work out. I don't want to do anything. I want to get in the shower. I want my house to be clean by itself. I want to... I want to snap my fingers and it's clean. I want to be able to have somebody take my hair down or whatever. And then I snap my fingers and my hair is washed. <sighs> but I know this is where the hard work comes in as well. So what am I going to do? Am I going to keep complaining about it or am I going to work? I'm going to work. I'm going to show up every day, give 100% every day. Okay, I'm gonna put this battery in here and see if this will still work. Not in the one that's messed up. The middle one's not working. None of them are working. <laughs> None of my batteries are working because this doesn't work anymore. So anyway, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I have the spirit of consistency, the spirit of endurance, the spirit of continuation. What I pray for and ask God to help me to do, he's doing. No matter what comes my way, the devil tries to throw things in my way. Just reality throws things my way. I don't even give the devil credit and say the devil doing no. I know I could do better and I need to do better and stop trying to think I can get by with just a little bit of better I'm doing and feel like why is this not working when I know 80% of me losing weight is in the kitchen. Period point blank. It is frustrating sometimes because you I know I didn't get this way and some people may look at me and be like oh you're not big I never said that I was big I'm just simply stating like I can't wear a swimsuit I couldn't wear a two-piece comfortably I can't wear certain shirts comfortably for me I'm not trying to be a, a super 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 skinny I'm just trying to be able to I want to be able to wear a bodysuit and feel comfortable in a bodysuit everybody has certain things that they feel comfortable in some people feel like you know, I'm going to wear a two-piece no matter what I look like. And I love that because I wish I had that confidence and I wish I could think that way. But for me, I don't feel comfortable. So, I just got to work on that. I'm order. I have to order me a new camera. Or not new camera. New batteries and battery things since it's not working. But God is good because even through all these trials and tribulations and things like that, I'm still moving forward. God is still blessing me he is still providing so it's still a good day work was really really good um like i said i got my first project so i've been working on that um so it's really good onward and upward this is just a moment 
of my Friday that is like this, so. Um, but I'm getting ready to clean my house up. My goal, sorry, my goal is to clean my house and then cut my braids, take sit in the bed, take my hair down, get in the shower, wash it, blow dry it. And I'm gonna put in a bun. Um, and then I kind of want to work out, write out my plan, write out a plan for like next week's workout. So that is my goal for tonight. Tomorrow we're going to my best friend's house. We're just going to be, <laughs> y'all about to judge me. We're going to have pizza and chicken. <laughs> Don't judge me. We had this plan for like a month. So we're going to have pizza and chicken, watch some movies, hang out. Um... And then on Sunday, me and Erin are going to go see The Quiet Ones Day One. So, I'm going to do that. But I just want to get on here and talk to y'all because, you know, yeah, my community, yeah, my people. I just feel like somebody else can probably relate to how I feel. So, but I'm going to get off here so I can go ahead and clean up and I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, gosh. Anyway, yo. I cleaned upstairs and now I'm making something to eat and, and then I'm going to sit down and finish cleaning up because all I got to do is wash the dishes and vacuum on this floor and then I'll clean my basement. I um. I just didn't feel, I, I realized I'm just going to take my hair out next week because we get uh, 4th of July off and that's next week. So I'm just going to do that then because I realized I don't have the bandwidth to take my hair down. I just don't. Mm -mm. Not today. Not today. It's just not something that I have in me. <laughs> um, I think I've just had a long week. And now it's catching up to me and I just feel very drained. So. I feel so drained. Not like, oh, sad drained, but like, I just can't. I just don't. I just can't, I don't, and I won't. So, I just wanna hop on here. So, I gotta tell y'all, like, mm -mm. I said I was gonna do the X, Y, and Z, and I'm not. I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna sit down and eat my food. I'm going to clean the rest of the house up, and then I'm going to get in the shower, and I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna read my Bible, and I'm gonna spend time with the Lord, and I'm gonna relax. That is my plan. So, probably the next time I talk to y'all will be tomorrow when I'm headed to my best friend's house and stuff like that so yep good morning everybody it is Saturday I am on my way to Sheena's house oh gosh I was thinking what time is it it's 8 34 I was I was like, man, I want to put on leggings, but I threw all my leggings away. So I have on some, like, we were just, we're just hanging out. We're not going shopping and doing anything, right? I was going to put on sweatpants and a t-shirt, but I'm like, it's too early to go to do that. So for me, it's too early for that. Now, if this was like nighttime, evening, whatever, oh, I'm going to put on sweatpants, pajama pants, and a t-shirt. I realize I don't really have lounge, like hangout lounge wear. I either have like going out or slumming in. So I have all some athletic shorts and a t-shirt. Call it a day, hair's on a pony, got some flower um, little earrings on. I just wanted to go minimum because that's just the vibe I was going for today. But ignore the dirty, dusty TV in the back. Just, just never mind never mind it but um i just want to check in with you guys it is saturday thank the lord last i <laughs> i know what you're thinking i thought i was gonna take my hair out chill it need to be taken out i got so much daggone new growth it's not even cute i can't even gel it down without it looking bad 
I need to take it out, but I think I'm gonna take it out this weekend because, or when I'm off this week because it's for the July week. I think I'm gonna take my hair out then because I just feel like, I just didn't feel it. Like, I wanna take it out, but I just didn't have, I just didn't have it in me. I didn't have it. I didn't have the bandwidth in me to take it out, so no. But I'll take it out on uh, Thursday, but other than that, um, I got me a rice bar and I got some water because I look he been getting headaches and I'm not for sure. I know I have, I've been, I drank coffee like three weeks ago and then for the last two weeks prior, okay, wait, I drank coffee yeah, three weeks, four weeks ago. And then the last, then two weeks ago, I was drinking an energy drink. I think I drank about three or two, four, six, three. So I think I drank three energy drinks two weeks ago, like three one week, three the following week, or two the following week, right? I haven't had any energy drinks or any, well, I've had a, I had a little coffee this week. I'm wondering if my body's getting used to that and I'm getting a headache because I haven't had it. Absolutely not. I'm not doing that. So, I, and I have been getting like, it's like not a full headache, but like it's a tinge, like it's right there. So I'm going to eat um, my little rice bar. I got them from Marshall's. They're called skinny bars, I think they are. Um, yeah, skinny rice bar, and they just have like almonds and cranberries, so I'm gonna eat that. Um, and then drink my water and call it a day. I know we're doing, oh gosh, do I have that billfold? I hope I do, because I need that. Hold on, oh lord, okay, I can feel it, I can see it, I got it. <laughs> I'm about to say, I should have it. It shouldn't be out, but sometimes if Aaron goes in my purse, sometimes he has a tendency to take my billfold out and sit it down and not put it back where he found it at. I don't know. I think that's all, guys. I feel like my dad does that, too. He sees that to my mom, stop, so. Turn right. Um, but, so yeah, it takes a minute to get to her house because she does live farther away. Um, but, it's good so that's why we like normally plan out like we planned this a month ago <laughs> we planned this a month ago and i go over in the morning because then that way you know you kind of it's different if you have somebody that lives like 15 20 minutes away but she lives a lot farther than that so you know you just plan it out a little differently but i just want to hop on here and say good morning um oh i didn't bring no movies or no game I didn't bring no movies or no games and I was thinking in my head I was gonna do both and I didn't either so I'm sure she's got moved like she's got stuff there but I was gonna bring some stuff and I didn't so it's alright but I'm probably gonna well, listen to like a little podcast or something um, I'm listening to a podcast and <sighs> so I will because I'll be there in like 30 minutes yeah I'll be there in like in another 30 minutes so I'll chat with y'all later we're here at my best friend's house. <laughs> so excited. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> oh, the water. Yeah. So we. Ouch. Oh, God, that hurt. I got a circle. We got this thing called Circle. Are you kidding me? I need something that's going to help me drink water. And then they also have refreshers. Oh, you don't have to be quiet. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be quiet. They also got refreshers. It's a pink refresher. It's supposed to be like the pink drink. So. I need to take a picture. I'm just not. Okay. So I'm going to try this. Hopefully, I it makes me want to drink more water because I never like drinking water. So it comes with high two hydrate. It comes with an energy one. Does it? Yes. In your container. Mm-hmm. Caffeine. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that one. This, this one's got caffeine. That one's got B. This comes with um, a hydrate, and I have an energy one. She got the pink one that has a sterling, like, what was that? Not sterling silver. Oh, stainless steel. Stainless steel. Oh, this is nice. I should have got this one. So let's see. How do you open this one? Water you're waiting for. What are you waiting for? <laughs> it says, 
what are you waiting for we have 75 plus delicious flavors to try so i'm hoping like i said this is going to help me drink more water um i didn't get no lid Girl, the flavor is the lid yeah oh okay oh let me see if i can show you guys real quick so it looks like this and then you put so these are the flavors i have the blueberry grape this is a hydrate frosted pink refresher and then the ghost sip is the energy one i'm gonna try the pink refresher one which one are you trying the dragon the dragon fruit, fruit one refresher. i was about to be like this is why it was ten dollars is because <laughs> it didn't have no daggone lid okay cricket circle I keep wanting to call it cricket. <laughs> Circle turns my water into delicious hydrating flavored drink with a twist of the dial. We love the strawberry kiwi flavor. Okay. So you're probably gonna need like three, two and a half. <laughs> okay, so then you just put it in here and spin it. Not being funny, but is it supposed to stick in the water? No, because you turn it up. Oh, I <laughs> so you turn up. Okay. And then you decide how flavor how do you do that oh i see it okay so this one okay so the flavor's got like little notches on here is it good okay will you have it on one or two try each level <laughs> okay x is I no flavor right three. yeah okay let's try one i feel like it's got a marinade no i just go to two. okay Now go to three. Okay. <laughs> that is delicious. <laughs> that is really good. Okay. And it goes all the way up to nine. I feel like three is perfect. I feel like three is great. I feel like nine. I mean, I'm gonna try nine just because I want to see what nine tastes like. It's a little, <laughs> a little too much. It's a little too much. Three is perfect. That is really good. This 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Mm -hmm. But you know what? So this, I could do this. I could do this. How much water is in here? Um, I was at, what is it? Do not microwave. 16.9 ounces. Top rack mark, uh, dishwasher only. How much? 16.9 ounces. No, I mean like how much is this? Oh. Mm -hmm. A third, two ounce. <laughs> One thirty-two one. Right there. Oh. Okay. Ten out of ten. Get you a cricket one. Circle. Circle. I keep calling it a cricket. Get a circle one. I got the pink refresher, and then it has like a filter on the tip, which is. I feel like I broke my filter. Oh no, it's not. It's a straw. It's a. I didn't push mine down. You don't. Did oh you did? I don't know how I did that. My dad on teeth probably did. Hi guys, um, I'm gonna show you awesome dances that I love to do. Ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs>